<clears throat> I realised, I think, in this evening, that it was so multifaceted. There was so much. I couldn't even... I would have to do... I, I feel like I need a bigger platform because there's too many words on my tongue. I saw that I'm going to write books. I have to write things down. There was four books and they were... They were like the, the ring around a, a planet and they were rotating. There's all these authors, but it was like mine, 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 mine. And I had to put them into books. I had to put them into songs. I've had to put these things into videos, but there's bigger, there's bigger platforms. There was this confidence in me that I just was unshakable confidence that I knew that what I was doing and there was absolutely no way anyone was going to stand in my way. And that was the death, I think, the death of I'm not here I know I'm not, I've never been here, but it's like, it's like layers, isn't it? Layer after layer, those, those, those leaves, those petals that have come, they've shown various things. And I was seeing that, like, yeah, I keep going off track, that we're foolish to think that we only have five senses. We're programmed to think that we're just human. My gosh, it got to the end of all this beautiful, and it, I, 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 I'm going to blow my mind if I think about it too much, but I got to the end of what's it all for and then I saw the kingdom and the kingdom became something else and that was just the beginning <laughs> and it went out and it went out and it went out it just kept expanding but then I had to keep coming back but but we're, I'm here now I'm here now this and this is I got to do this there's a there's an orchestrated way of doing things but we are kingdom builders and some of you will be listening thinking, what the hell is she on about? Some of you will be like, oh, I know what she's talking about. I know I have gold inside me too. I know that I am a kingdom builder. <clears throat> when Jesus came to earth, I keep using him as an example because he spoke the truth. When Jesus came to earth, the disciples thought that he was coming to overthrow the Roman, Roman Empire. They, they wanted, they were waiting for a fight. They thought they were building an army. He kept speaking about the kingdom and they thought it was a literal kingdom. It's not a literal kingdom. This is what Spirit was showing me. The kingdom is here. It's, already, it's amongst you. It's amongst us. It's being built. And do you know how it's being built? It's being built through that heart, heart chakra. It's every tiny deed. Spirit was showing me, you've asked for... Uh, 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 to see so now I'm showing it to you and I suddenly remembered all these gifts and all this knowledge and all this wisdom and all this superpower that uh, has been dormant it's, it's been waking bubbling but then it, it's like and life and life and life it was open and I said keep it open and as it's only been open for what 12 hours I'm already feeling like it, it, it's a tsunami it's a tsunami of wisdom. It's a tsunami of remembering. It's a tsunami of, oh, fuck. This is big. And I saw that my gifts were able to see the gold in others. Even if they were completely black. Even if they were completely veiled. And they were completely programmed. I had invisible eyesight that could see the gold. And I was able to say without a shadow of doubt in my tongue, that's what you're here for. That's your gift. Your mum did this, da da da. Oh, just knowledge. The, the knowingness of how God knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb, that knowledge was within me and I could see it. And I was waking people up. And Spirit said to me, Are You really ready for what you're asking for? Because when you become gold, if you, if I keep this open, they're going to flock. The, the hungry are going to flock. Like where Jesus would sit, the crowds would come. Because he spoke of the hunger, that they were so hungry and what, what is this life for? Meaningless. It's all meaningless. I kept hearing, I kept saying it's so meaningless. This cycle. Enough cycling. Wake up, stay awake, build. Wake up, stay awake, build. Wake up, stay awake and build. We're here to build. We're here to remember that we have something of enormous. We are the universe. And this is not 
my existence anymore. Awake. Awake. Arise and shine. Your light has come. They're going to come. They're going to come because they're going to recognize the gold that's in you that you speak of. It's in them. It's in you. The gold is in you. And there's another way. There is another way. And, and Spirit said to me, everything's going to change if you, if you, if you, this is really what you want and what you're grasping for. Everything's going to change. I have to keep stopping. <clears throat> I wanted to also say, I could see intention over um, an act of goodness. There's a difference. I could see the difference between somebody, let's say, for example, this was the example I was seeing. Um, I, I was furious. I went into a, I went into churches. I was in churches. And um, I was saying, why are you sat around in these churches, in these buildings, in these structures? When you're full to the brim of gold and you sit around talking about the gold and then you, you, you sing songs about the gold but none of you are taking the gold to the people that need the gold. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're gluttonous for the gold. It's, 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 it's not about sharing the gold. For, why, why are you sitting here feasting on the gold and not sharing it? Like the breaking of the bread and it just was unlimitless. You could feed, feed 5,000 people with the one, one piece that you have and you're sitting around on your asses singing about it, go and show the world the gold, go and show the world this love. I was, I was like Jesus, I was just smashing up the fudging structures saying, well, what are you doing with this gift? What are you doing with the gold? There are people out there that are fudging starving. And I was being shown that I was going, I'm going to be so led. God got me up and he said, this is how we're going to work. Get up. Go to town, on this street, there's going to be a homeless man. He's sleeping under a blanket, under the arch. Go there. And I went there in this scenario. It was clear as day. I knew that was how, how it's going to be. It's going to start being like that. Go there. Wake him up. And I went there in this scenario that was playing out like a vision. I woke him up and he looked at me and he said, it's you. And I went, yes, it's me. Because I knew that he'd had a dream about me. Because I already knew that. And I said, yes, it's me. Wake up. Get up. Stand up. I'm going to go and buy you a, a, a fry up. And I'm going to sit with you and I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to treat you like a human being because you, you're so loved. And he said, I dreamt that you, somebody was going to, you, you woke me up and you took me for breakfast. I said, yes, because God, God is within me and God is within you. And that's what he's told me to do. That small act of kindness in this scenario was the, was the most precious brick more precious than building these enormous churches where you sit in them and you sit around gluttonous and I was being shown there's so many bricks that you've created Bex and you don't even know you've done anything special it might seem like the most insignificant thing but in the eyes of God of source of love that was bigger than you knew your smallest acts of kindness, just making time to listen to people, making time to reach out. I'm going to have to end this. I've got a few, few minutes, one, one minute. I'm going to end it on this. I had to stop. On behalf of me and God, who's filling this car... It's a call to action. Are you going to keep cycling and eating your tail? Or are you going to wake up, stay awake, and start building? If you're with me, be with me. We are the army of Christ. Love you.